I mean, we make a lot of dumplings, but this really simple version, mm, can't be beat. Yum. Steaming hot dumplings. This, my friends, is one bowl you need to be eating, like right now. These are my classic prawn dumplings in spicy chili oil sauce. So you guys know by now, dumplings are literally like my favorite food group. Uh, these dumplings are really classic, really beautiful, elegant Chinese flavors with a big, not so elegant, big punchy kind of chili oil bath at the end and it all works together beautifully. Uh, all right, let's get started on the filling part first of all. Now for me, this dumpling really depends on two things. One is the beautiful pure flavor of the prawns and the other thing is the kind of crunchy element we're going to add and that is with the water chestnuts. So you can find water chestnuts in a can, they're perfectly fine to use canned. I'm lucky here in Thailand I can find them fresh. Now you just want to fine dice on these. And now we want some really nice, beautiful herbs here. So I'm going to use some coriander and some spring onion. Now for me, texture and chopping here is really important. So if your spring onion is really quite large, you're gonna to wanna to thin it out through the stem here. Mine's not too bad, but I know you can get some uber big ones that are almost like leeks. Um, make sure you get a really nice fine chop. And now some really simple aromatics here. I just want some ginger. And some garlic. And now come the prawns. Now you don't need a big cleaver here like I have. It is more fun with a cleaver, but um, a regular knife is just fine. Just make sure you're chopping into nice fine pieces. So you could totally do this in a food processor. What I find though is that when you hand chop your prawns, and I know it's a little bit of extra uh, work, but it's really worth it because you get just the right amount of pop and bounce and texture, and you get some nice little chunks of prawn in there as well. But who am I to judge, guys? If you want to do the food processor way, totally go ahead and do it. Now the key to getting a really fine chop here is to kind of go ahead and do some chopping and then fold the prawn meat over and then go back in the opposite direction. Okay, so this is the kind of texture that you're looking for. And pop that into your bowl. Now to bind all of this together, I'm going to add an egg white and the egg white only here because I don't want to add any extra flavoring with the yolk. I want to keep this as cleanly prawny and a little bit herby as possible. I'm sure prawny is a word, maybe. <laughs> now, good pinch of salt here. And then just a little dash of white pepper. White pepper because it has a more milder kind of flavor than a very harsh in your face black pepper. And now just give everything a mix. Now you wanna give this a really good kind of beating almost and you'll notice that everything starts to become a bit stickier as you're going and that means that the egg white is binding everything together and firming up all the proteins in there and we're gonna get a nice bouncy dumpling filling. So with the wrapping, I'm gonna keep it really simple. See, I don't ask too much. A lot of chopping, but simple wrapping. There you go. Uh, okay, so grab yourself a wrapper. I'm using some gyoza wrappers today and you just want some filling in the middle. And now here is one super important tip for when you're using store-bought wrappers. They're often quite dry and they need way more water than you think to get everything to stick together. So get a lot of water on that edge there. And now I like to just do two pleats on one side at the top here, push that together 
and then use your fingers to kind of seal that edge. So we've got a couple of pleats on one side and then smooth on the other side. And to be honest, this is going to all wrinkle up once we get it into uh, the water anyway. So, you know, you don't have to be too pedantic here. Just waiting for my water to come up to a boil so I can cook my dumplings. So in the meantime, let's make our dipping sauce. Very simple, I just need some soy sauce. And then for me, what sets apart a really good dumpling dipping sauce is, dumpling dipping sauce, oh, it's a mouthful. Um, what sets it apart from a good and a bad one to me is the addition of vinegar. So if you can get a hold of this Chinese black vinegar, that is going to give you the most beautiful, it's almost like a red wine vinegar sort of flavor. So if you can't get the black vinegar, feel free to add a little bit of red wine vinegar instead. And I just want a good, about equal amount of soy sauce and vinegar for my liking. And then for me, it's got to be red oil dipping sauce. Red oil meaning chili oil. And so many of you guys have made my Szechuan chili oil. I know you all love it. Uh, if you haven't given it a try, check out my video on YouTube on how to make it. This is what it looks like. It has loads of different uh, spices in there and you can use the store-bought chili oil, of course. So make sure you're getting a mixture of chili flakes and the chili oil in there. And then to kind of round out the flavors, you really want a little dash of sugar here. You won't notice the sweetness, but it will give the dipping sauce a really beautiful, balanced kind of flavor. And then a little smattering of grated garlic for some extra kick at the end. Now my water's ready to go. It's simmering, but you don't want it really rapidly boiling too much. Uh, because you can run the risk of your dumplings breaking apart. Um, so I just want a nice gentle bath for my dumplings here. And you want to cook these for about five or six minutes or until the dumpling wrapper becomes nice and frilly and you can just see a little bit of that pink prawn kind of popping through uh, the wrapper. All right, now these are looking ready to go, which is good news because that means I get to try them soon. All right, just give them a drain, pop them into a bowl. I like to go kind of elegant, a little bit fancy schmancy with these ones. So I just put a little serving of dumplings in here. Some of that dipping sauce drizzled on top. I kind of want to make sure you're going to get a really good mouthful of that dipping sauce, so be generous. Just a little smattering of spring onion. And there you go. I mean, balls of dumplings don't get much better than that. Ah, oh, look at how pretty that is. Let's just make sure that I've done a good job for you guys. Mm. If you have a look at that filling in there, it's just beautifully simple. The prawn, just a flex of those herbs. But the texture that you get, so you get that crunch from the water chestnut and those little hits of flavor from the spring onion, from the coriander and the garlic and ginger. And then you get the vinegar and the chili oil and the soy sauce and it really is quite the symphony. Beautiful. Mm. I mean, we make a lot of dumplings. This really simple version. Mm. Can't be beat. Yum.